Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Randy and this is ETX Reel Service and Repair. And today is fishing reel tip of the day. It is going to be a, a, about drag. And how much drag do you want or need? Personally, I only fish for catfish and I try to set my drag at about a pound and a half, two pounds. Uh, cause, uh, I think typically what you would like to do, because I don't keep these fish. I'm a catch and release guy. If I want catfish to eat, I just go to the grocery store and buy a box of catfish that was farm raised for that purpose. Uh, and I release now it, before I started doing that I did keep a few of the smaller ones because I think your best eater size fish are five to seven pounds uh, the bigger fish I always put those back the big fish those are your breeders I just take a picture with the big fish and put him back now I don't film or post any photos of what I do but getting back to the drag I like to set the drag where it's tight enough to set the hook, but it's loose enough that the fish can run with it. If he if he runs, he has uh, he's he can do that, and that is to keep from injuring the fish or tearing up his mouth. Now, some can do this by feel. I've got the drag set really loose, backed off. Because this is a reel that is not used. Uh, but if you wanted to get precise with the setting of your drag, uh, everybody knows what this is. Uh, mine is a cast king. Uh, it weighs, it's a fish scale, but it weighs, uh, it goes up to 110 pounds. Uh, and what I would do to get precise with this, is setting the drag, is you just hook the scale to it. I don't know if y'all can see that. I may need to get, and you just pull it until the reel starts to move. Well, at where it is right now, you're pulling a half pound of drag. So if we tighten it up, A little bit more. And then we'll start over. Clear that and start over. I need to tighten it up even more. Okay. That's, but this is how I would... Uh, See now I'm now I'm at 1.1 pound, so I need to tighten it a little more. And pull it again. And there's a pound and a half. Now that's the way I would precisely uh, set my drag. Go ahead and turn this off. And uh, I just thought I would share that with you all. And uh, as I said on a previous drag video, uh, when the reel's not in use, back the drag off and store it that way. But uh, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I hope you find it helpful. I hope you find it useful. Uh, the, uh, I do this because I don't want the fish to injure themselves. So uh, this has been Randy with ETX Real Service and Repair. If you are subscribed to my channel, I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. All of you, please feel free to comment, share, like, and if you do, 
like our videos, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, as always, subscription to this channel is free. We do not ask for money. Um, but if someone wants to donate to the channel, I think Loretta set up a PayPal link that you can do that. But, but uh, we do not ask you for money. That is of your own accord. Uh, anyway, this is a video. This is a fish and reel. That makes it a fish and reel video. Tip of the day. Have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next one.